Hello guys, uh, welcome to Programming Knowledge. This is the first video of GUI programming using Ginter in Python. So, in this video, we'll be learning about uh, a brief introduction to the subject of graphical user interface programming in Python. So, when it comes to GUI programming in Python, Ginter is a default toolkit available or a default library available to uh, build some robust small scale applications in Python. So, for example, uh, creating a registration form and attaching it with a database, those kind of applications. So, Kinder is not the latest and the greatest, but there are other options too like uh, PyQt5 and uh, WX Python for creating GUI applications in Python. But when it comes to the simplicity and uh, the ease of use, uh, Kinder is uh, far more easier to use and create rapid applications. So there are multiple uh, bindings available for Kinter for uh, commercial as well as uh, small small scale applications. So this is a overview inter introduction uh, to Kinter Python programming, and I'll just show you a small e example uh, how to create uh, a simple registration form, which will be shown in the uh, later videos in Kinter. So this is the basic structure of uh, how to create a basic window uh, using the Kinter module. So there are multiple ways of importing Kinter. So as def uh, as Kinter comes in comes in default like uh, default library, you don't have to go through the process of installing via pip. So there are multiple ways of importing Kinter. One of them is import Kinter. That's it. And the second one is uh, from Kinter import the uh, widgets you want. For example, if you want a uh, entry widget or a label or something like button, you need to specify that besides import. And uh, the last one is import Kinter star. So when it comes to star, it will import every widgets within the Kinter library. So from Kinter import label. So here we are importing label with within the uh, Kinter window. So Initially, we need to uh, take a variable, for example, a root variable, which is inherited in each and every widget we create within the Kinter uh, window or Kinter application. So here we are taking, for example, a root or a top application and storing uh, TK, T capital T and K in brackets. So that uh, root variable will be inherited in every uh, widgets we create within the Kinter window. For example, if you are uh, creating root variable and storing the Kinter object within that variable, we need to inherit over here. For example, here the label none. Here we are inheriting none. That is the root in our case and uh, we are naming the label as hello world. So here is the example as you can see hello world is a label. If you don't use any kind of uh, placement uh, argument such as pack over here. So pack is one of the inbuilt method for placing that widget within the GUI window. For uh, There are other methods too such as place and grid. So what pack does is that pack will uh, if it doesn't take any argument it will uh, take the default argument center and place a widget in the center. And uh, when it comes to place and uh, grid, place is based on XY coordinates and uh, grid is based on column, rows and columns. So it will be covered in further videos. Uh, and this widget main loop. So uh, when executing the printer and creating the window, you need, it is necessary that to uh, type in main loop to execute that uh, window in a proper manner. So these are the events and bindings for mouse and key events. When it comes to uh, mouse based events such as on clicking a button or entering something into an entry field, you can use these events uh, with the function which you need to get executed and uh, when it comes to keyboard events these are the events bottom over here uh, return is for enter and key shift up etc 
so this will be covered in the later videos and this is the event handling uh, when it comes to event handling uh, a small example such as if you want to if there is a window created with a button uh, which says that quit for example if you quit that uh, if you click on that button quit there is a function called s quit which is used for quitting the or exiting from a kinter window so if you click that button the kinter window will uh, stop executing and that main loop will be ended so these are the binding uh, functionality which you can use in uh, kinter which will be also covered in the further videos so these are the some examples of widgets which you can use within the uh, kinter applications like example canvas check buttons radio buttons frame menu buttons panel scorer etc so uh, this is the basic uh, outlook of a uh, widget if you create it in uh, kinter so let me show, just show you a small uh, form which i've cre already created so as you can see over here, this is small registration forms with uh, multiple widgets such as label, uh, entry field, uh, this is uh, radio buttons, list box and uh, check box and this is the uh, button submit. So in further videos, we'll be looking at even handling in more depth when it comes to uh, mouse events such as if you click some, uh, click the button submit, how it interacts with the database and etc so this is how you can create a general widget application in kinter so some other advantages of kinter is that it is accessible portable um, and available as you can use those applications in almost any operating system available and the approach of creating uh, the application in kinter is more in a layered format for example uh, initially you create a root that is a parent object of kinter then creating the uh, widgets and ending it to the main loop etc uh, uh, some of the drawbacks of kinter is that when it comes to handling multi-threaded applications such as when you want to execute something uh, or example if you want to execute uh, two events at the same time it shows an error and it doesn't handle those kind of uh, situations very gracefully and when it comes to building large applications it takes time to execute so it is a bit slow so this is the link for downloading the python the latest was a version that is 3.7.2 it is a prerequisite and in the next video we'll be looking at how to set up kinter in pycharm and uh, how to generally create a window in the further videos so thank you